Hey everybody, welcome to this new video of Tech Express. In this tutorial, let's take a look into how we can change some custom colors, fonts, and more stuff using Shopify. And I'm going to be using an actual AI, Artificial Intelligence Chat F Bing, so I can do this like more faster. And you don't have to worry about to edit codes or custom CSS file because this might be uh, overwhelming for a lot of people. So. The very first thing I wanted to do is to go into my Microsoft Edge. So I need to download this browser, otherwise it just actually won't work. So once I downloaded this, I open a new tab here. As you can see, this is like the very first part of my tab. I focus into the left part. And here's you can see how the Bing chat. So I just click here and now this one should now be now opened. So uh, in order to continue, what I wanted to do is to leave this like that, go back into my Shopify. And here let's focus into my online store so in here into my online store what i wanted to do is to focus into my current theme but i have this already been enabled so let's go into customize and now into customize we are now into the editor of our actual stuff so it says browse our latest products for example so let's say that i'm going to delete this and let's go for welcome welcome to this new um store and now I have the heading and his heading size, large, small, medium. So let's say that I wanted to change the fund of all the features that appears in here. In order to do that, what I wanted to do is to go into the theme settings. So into the theme settings, I can focus into the typography here and I have a fund. So here into fund, what I can do is to change for, let's say for example, change. And instead of going with these new one, I'm gonna go for, let's say month and I have this one. So I click the, I hit into select and absolutely all my website is going to be having now a new font. So we do have the font assistant here and, and the body of course, and the types, I wanted to do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to go and type my new system font, which is actually this one. I just paste that here, select, and we're actually good to go. There we go. So as you can see, it's looking now really, really great. So let's say that I want now to change the colors here. So I'm going to go here into colors and I have the primary colors here to edit here. So the second, uh, the Sally button label, let's say for example, this one is white. So I can change this for something more interesting. The accent color number one, we can change it for something like this. The accent gradient color, let's say for something like that. There we go. And there we go. The gradient is actually looking great. So once we have successfully done that, what I wanted to do is to, of course, save my element so I can later on, I'm going to keep now into save. There we go. Here's my saved change it. So I'm going to go here and instead of background number one, let's go for the accent number two. And as you can see, it's actually working. It's looking really, really great. So um, what I wanted to do now is to take a look into how we can edit the actual CSS files. So that's the reason why we wanted to use the color scheme here. So uh, first of all, I'm going to leave this into accent number one. There we go. It's looking really, really great. Uh, I want to go back here into my theme settings. And here I'm going to uh, go with colors. And now, as you can see, we do have a lot of stuff here. So I can go and scroll all the way down and try to find the custom C double S files. Now this add custom styles to your entire online store. We wanted to paste here the actual custom style to my entire online store. So to do this, to edit this, I wanted to copy or paste and create a custom C double S files. So what I want you can do is to go into the w3schools.com and here this one should be like telling you or showing us how we can specify some different fonts to three paragraphs. So we need to type, let's say for example, P number one, font family, what we wanted to do, and we can try this ourselves so we can start to do this by our own. And this is in the, into the preview mode of how it's gonna be looking. If you don't know or you don't want to know how to do this manually, we can do this automatically. This is why we are using Microsoft Edge. So here into our chat, our, our artificial intelligence chat, let's go for ask me anything. Let's go for create a S double S custom code to make my font, my actual, let's go for my website font and color 
look with times i'm going to open this times new roman and red color in my whole website that now what's going to happen here is that the actual chat uh, artificial intelligence is going to be generating in custom C double S code snippet that we can use to edit our actual fund and the color. So as you can see, what I just needed to do is to copy this element and, and, and here it says, and here it says you can add this code to your website, CS file or within style tagged in the head section of the HTML file. This will apply the fund and color to all the text within the body of your website. So let's try to actually copy all of this um, code and let's see what happens if I paste that into the actual space that we have the custom double S file. So I can go here once again into custom C double S. If you don't find that, once again, go into theme settings, scroll all the way down, custom C double S, number one, I paste the body typed and there we go. So um, as you can see, these actual uh, Times New Roman color, it only changed for this actual email section. So what I wanted to do is to try to delete this fund element and see if this one actually does anything here. But I cannot see like there's like a lot of addition stuff. So we asked the actual uh, chat how to do this into Shopify. So it says go into online store, go into themes, go into action, edit code. So this is exactly what we're actually gonna be doing. We wanted to go back here into the exit, go into my online store, focus into the three dots, hit into edit the code. And then we wanted to look out for the template, which is actually it's in here. We have the layout. Now find the theme that you wanted to edit and click actions, edit code. So into the asset folder, click on your theme made TWS file. This is usually named something like uh, theme liquid or timber liquid. So in our case, I believe it's available here. It says theme liquid. So here, I'm gonna go back here, scroll to the bottom of the file and paste the custom CWS code that I provided earlier. So I'm gonna go into my upper side. I copy this element. Other solution that I can give you is to go into the theme editor and here into the theme editor, once again, just scroll all the way down. I'm going to just wait a few seconds here. I have the theme settings. I scroll all the way down into the custom C double S file. I paste this code. So this code once again was provided by the actual Microsoft Bing artificial intelligence. And this one told me to just copy and paste that information in here. And I hit now into save. So, as you can see, this actual header has the Time New Roman code. I scroll all the way down. The colors, I mean the actual prices, and this actual element appears into Times New Roman. Why this the other elements does not appear into Times New Roman? Because this one is a heading, this one has more elements that we can do this manually, so this one should not be added automatically when you need to change this manually. But with that being said, guys, we are now ready to get started. We are now ready to edit more stuff here into your actual custom theme settings, which I think is like more faster to go into the typography and change the actual font for the one that you're actually looking for. In our case, it was like the Times New Roman. So go for Times New Roman and click here and go into select and voila. So much faster and much easier to do to do the process like really, really fast. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, guys, if you want to see more tools of how we can edit more stuff here into your custom Shopify store. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And well, with that being said, I'll see you on the next video.